This is step two of the Dubsado Setup Blueprint series. This step is called Select Your Specs. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up your basic account settings in Dubsado under the Brand Settings tab. When you log into Dubsado, you'll be taken to your dashboard. In the upper right corner, you will be able to click on the screen. On my screen, you'll see it says Productive Co. You'll click on that area and a drop down box will appear. You will scroll down to current brand settings and select that. Inside of this tab, there are several other tabs as you can see here. This is where you'll be able to upload your logo. You'll be able to customize the color of buttons and links that you send to match your branding. You can choose to enter um, emails from your personal name or from your company name. In the second tab, you can customize your portal. You can customize the message that you send. And this is where you can choose colors for your portal and add banners. If you want to add a logo specific to your portal that's different from the one that you just set up, you can do that here. And you can also add portal banners that are desktop friendly or mobile friendly. The next tab is users. This is for people who have more than one person on their team. So this is for non-solopreneurs. And after you create users, you can group them into teams if you'd like. So you would do that in the teams tab. Then there's the international settings and that's where you choose the time zone that you're in, the language you would like to um, send emails in and forms in, and then the currency you would like to receive money in. Um, then there's the receive money tab. You can connect with Stripe, Square, or PayPal here. There is a note here that says PayPal may be used with either Stripe or Square Connected, which means that you can hook up PayPal and Stripe or PayPal and Square. You can also just use PayPal on its own. Up above that, you can use Stripe or Square. You cannot connect both Stripe and Square to Dubsado. Uh, they don't really play nicely with each other. Then there's the QuickBooks tab. Dubsado does have bookkeeping features, but if you want something more advanced, you can connect Dubsado to QuickBooks. However, you will need the version of QuickBooks called QuickBooks Online. There are several different versions of QuickBooks. You must have the one called QuickBooks Online. Then you'll definitely want to hook up your email settings. If you don't hook up your emails, you're not going to get very far in Dubsado. So you'll need to hook those up in this tab. If you have a Gmail account, you can click on the blue button that says sign in with Google and you'll be prompted with instructions. If you have a non-Gmail account, you can select use STMP underneath the blue button. From there, it'll ask you to select who your provider is and it will prompt you instructions on how to hook that up from there. And then there's the integrations tab. This tab is for connecting Dubsado to other softwares. So at the moment, Dubsado integrates with Zapier and the way it integrates with Zapier is through an API key. So if you have a Zapier account, um, you can simply click generate new token and a key will come up. You will copy that key. You will then go into Zapier, select Dubsado, and then select the software you want to integrate with Dubsado and Zapier will eventually prompt you to paste your API key. Zapier is an app that allows you to connect to other apps that it wouldn't normally integrate with. And lastly, there's the URL tab. This tab is for white labeling. So instead of having your clients go to dubsado.com slash F586401, for their client portal, you can have them go to an extension of your domain. So my business is called Productive Co. 
my clients go to login.productiveco.com, you might want to set it up so that they go to clientportal.yourbusiness.com or um, homebase.yourbusiness.com just so that it fits with your branding. So you can give your page a title. So I'm going to call this page client login. You can give a description for it and you can upload a fav icon. So a fav icon is that little icon you see at the top of your browser in a tab. So Dubsado has a little agave plant that you see. That's their fav icon. And then you can add a preview image. So if you ever share this link with somebody on social media for your white labeling, they will get a preview image um, that you put up. And those are all the tabs inside of the brand settings tab. Once you have that set up, you can move on to the next step. If you haven't downloaded the Dubsado Blueprint already, make sure you do that. These videos are part of a series and they'll make more sense if you have the Blueprint. If you have any questions, let me know down below and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you soon.